Kia ora, my name is Heather Galbraith and I'm co-curator of this exhibition, Francis U. Pritchard, Save Yourself, which was first shown at the 53rd Venice Biennale in Venice, Italy in June 2009. It's really interesting to see this configuration of works here at Te Papa because it's distinctly different to how the works were arranged in Venice where they were placed in three separate rooms within a highly decorated uh, Neo-Palladian villa. So here we've got the works all together in one much larger space in a white cube environment. What I really like about this installation is that it doesn't try to replicate the um, sort of incredibly decorative uh, architectural qualities of the original context, but rather it offers the work a different presence, a different context. Here we have the three tables of dancers, long and lonely, um, placed in one space. The table itself is an intrinsic part of the work. As always in Frances's work, the support structure is really important. So here she's devised a set of three exquisitely made tables, each of which actually were made to the height and the width of large antique mirrors. Here we don't have that architectural framework, but you can notice that the three tables are very different in character. The other thing that you'll notice within this exhibition are that there are lamps illuminating some of the figures. These lamps are also an absolutely intrinsic and crucial part of the work. And Francis works with glass blowers um, to generate these hand-blown um, lamp shades. Most of Francis's figures tend to have um, a feeling of being quite isolated, of being in a, in a state of contemplation or internal uh, reverie. They sit on the table often looking outwards um, rather than inwards and have a very kind of um, slightly melancholy characteristic to them. Francis has spoken about influences uh, for this body of work which are incredibly diverse from wooden sculptures of dancing figures by German artist Erasmus Grasser from 1480, through to Netherlandish figurative paintings by Bruegel and Bosch. Also an influence for Save Yourself have been a life cycle of paintings in the Church of Santa Maria Assunta in Torcello in Venice, through to photos of ecstatic revelers from the 1971 Glastonbury Music Festival. That, that idea of perfection is not something that Frances is, is interested in. She really likes um, the figures to have uh, a vulnerability and um, uh, a kind of fragility to them. Many of the figures in Save Yourself are in poses where they look like they might be meditating or praying. Frances has been very clear that her work is not a criticism of Christianity, but instead seeks to investigate um, all sorts of potencies of belief and the urgency within the human condition to seek a better world. Mm -hmm.